What's that? Who might you be? My name is Herschel Link. I am a friend of the accused. Percy's chocolate, very good. Hmm. That's because his whole suit's made of chocolate. Yeah. Inquisitor Bonham, please allow me to confirm that you believe happened on the night of the crime. You claim the witch's septum, or scepter, was made to disappear through the use of magic. Is that correct? Indeed, through magic, the spell Demir. If possible, would you mind providing proof of this particular claim? What? You claim the scepter was not seen. Indeed, that is one possibility. However, a wise man must always consider every possibility. Hmm. What say you, Inquisitor Barnum? Can the Inquisition fulfill the request presented by the gentleman with the unusual hat? The Inquisition cannot honor uh, this request for proof. If you are asserting that the accused is not a witch, then the burden of proof lies at the feet of the defender. Ah, oh, come on! It's the prosecu- the Inquisition's job to prove that a crime was committed. As I thought. Indeed, it would appear that the accepted method of thinking in this world differs greatly, greatly from our own. How regrettable, Sir Prentice Baker. You and Sir Dark Hat. Rabble, ribble, ribble, Hold it! Inquisitor Barnum, sir! Should he require it, I send Rachel in my testimony. One gill. Knowing and I will not be dismissed so easily, we came here to expose the identity of this witch. Isn't that right, precious? But... Oh, just scepter, you say? Yes, yes, I know of such a scepter. Allow me to elucidate the matter. What do you think, Inquisitor Barnum? Your witnesses appear to have something to say on the subject. <laughs> Very well. More horrible our witnesses. I grant your request to testify once more. Tell the court all you know regarding this magic scepter. Well, somehow managed to keep the trial going. Now you want Sir Dark at. Please, Mr. Wright. Mr. Layton will suffice. I hear your thoughts. That's weird. Okay. Well, I saw that the witch was carrying a large notebook in one hand and the other. This girl had the lantern hanging from her wrist. Her hand was contorted in a strange way. I gotta get a look at her hand and I look for certain that she was gripping something. Which was holding her scepter in her right hand. She did not drop it once before she was apprehended. Wow. I see. The accused hand was contorted in a strange way. I do believe this is quite an important piece of testimony. I thought it was, I most certainly saw it. She was holding an invisible scepter. We saw it too! It was the girl up there! Without a doubt! I as well. These old guys don't see as well as they once did, but I witnessed the hazy, blurry form the accused quite clearly. Don't tell the court you're blind. My eyesight is as sharp as the edge of my trusty, wiggly blade. Hmm, a toy sword. How fascinating. Although I wonder if he understands the implications of that analogy on his vision. So, Baker, you may proceed in with your interrogation. Mr. Layton's given me another chance. Can't let it go to waste. Does Mia ever happen anymore? I don't know. This is about as far as I made it before I stopped playing. Like, I, uh, I miss 
the titties. Yeah, right? Yeah. Also, this guy over here... You yeah. saw holding it in her right oh, hand. Oh, look, where's the picture, dude? Yeah. Is right. it the right hand? What's in her right hand? Let's see. We don't have the picture. It was her right hand, though. Bug. But, like, he still saw the scepter in her right hand. But no, she wouldn't have seen it then. Right. He, he never, he didn't say that he saw it, just that she was holding it. There's a difference there. Like, the other person said that her hand was contorted as if holding something. I think that's what he means. But I think the important thing there, though, is that he says that she didn't drop it and they found it in the bush. Yeah, what's the evidence uh, on the uh, scepter right now? Does it say discarded or some shit? Details? Uh, oh. Hmm. How rump. Oh shit, I'm hmm. sorry. Sorry for what? Hmm. Uh, Fancy shit. Um. Hmm. But yeah, it was said that this was found in a bush. By him. Yeah, so I'm gonna just press him. Maybe em. just press him, yeah. Hold it! Hold it, sir. Let me get this straight. There was no way for you to see this invisible scepter, was there? Well, now that's common sense, boy. One cannot see what is not there to be seen. In that case, there was also no way you could tell me whether or not she might have dropped a scepter. Well, these old eyes of mine have holding it on her hand like a hawk until they couldn't see straight. The young lady was most certainly holding an invisible scepter in her right hand while at the same time also carrying the lantern. Or do you perhaps possess some piece of evidence to suggest that she dropped the scepter? Your testimony, perhaps? There hasn't been any evidence so far to suggest Ellis Bella was holding the scepter. Evidence suggesting the scepter was dropped. Now that is an interesting idea. Uh-huh. If Espella did not have the scepter in her hand, it would have been impossible for her to use any magic. Well, yeah, that's true. Hmm, I suppose. Might there be a piece of evidence that could prove this? I Something mean... to prove that Espella was not holding the scepter at the time of the murder. He's holding the lantern. How would a scepter get it past the lantern? Or rather, oh. how would it pass the scepter? She was hearing the, the very tip of it. Oh, yeah, that makes most sense, though. Yeah. In other words, evidence is evidence to show that even if Espella had been holding the scepter, she would have dropped it. Is everything all right, Mr. Wright? The truth that ha what happened in that brief instant will likely decide to spell his fate. I have to do everything I can to find a contradiction in these So was there a contradiction about holding the lantern or dropping it? Because we now know she, there's no way she could have dropped it. I don't think she even had it in the first place. Well, no, that's totally. But I'm saying is that any of the people here is like, yeah, she dropped the lantern. I mean, they found it. Bro. Right there. Hmm. The premise in her hand was contorted in a strange way. Hmm. Had a good look at her hand and it looked like for certain she was gripping something. I think you present the lantern there, but... I mean, you could always use a hint coin, too. Just oh, to, like, yeah. narrow down what testimony is wrong. Maybe. What'd you say, Snake? What's the last statement again? Or is that the... Hmm. I would present the lantern here. You think so? Because if she was holding something in her right hand, an invisible scepter, the lantern would not have come off her hand. And it's broken and muddy. Oh, true. Interesting. Okay. Fuck it. Yeah, let's fucking do it, dude. You're genius. Objection. And roll. 
There is a high probability that Miss Cantabella was not holding the scepter. But if, for the sake of argument, that she had been holding it, she would undoubtedly have dropped it at the time of the incident. What do you mean? What I mean, Inquisitor Barnum, is that this lantern proves the defendant was not holding the scepter! Objection! Objection! What, what foolishness are you spouting, Sir Prince Baker? The lantern's handle was around the accused wrist! Objection, Objection jackass! Meaning she could have helped have held the scepter? I'm afraid that's not the problem here, Inquisitor Barnum. If that is your real name. The problem is with the broken glass, and the mud splattered all over it. What? The rain had just ended just a fucking, let me rephrase that. The rain had ended just as the murder was taking place. That would make the path fairly muddy, don't you agree? When the thieves grabbed Miss Cantabella by the arm, the lantern must have fallen to the mud. The lantern? Fell into the mud? Why, of course. That makes sense, doesn't it, my little snowy woey? Meh. Well, <laughs> what do you say, Inquisitor Barnum? If she was holding the scepter at that time... That would mean that she would have dropped the- wait, fuck, I keep saying words wrong. That would Me mean too. that when she dropped the lantern, the scepter would have fallen along with it! <laughs> what the fuck is going on? Inquisitor Barnum seems to be pissed that the defender managed to turn the thing around, even though he's just some baker. Uh. No way, we pay the witches a compliment of this, no heed. They're just trying to trick you. Barnum, 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 Barnum. I'm the best. <laughs> no. Just do one. Hold it! What, one moment, please. <laughs> Everyone, please listen. Do you really all just stand here and explain the court what we clearly saw? Yes, you do. It's the lantern! So what? What's so special about it? Explain it so I can understand! I'm really stupid! So, so that you can... understand? Well, I mean, it's pretty obvious just by looking at it. Mr. Wright. What is it, Mr. Layton? There is something about this witness. I bet she's the witch. Huh? Miss Kira, was it? Tell me, Miss Killa. How good is your eyesight exactly? <laughs> As you just heard Mr. Wright explain, the answer isn't your, uh, to your query is quite obvious at, the, at a glance. Tell me, are you able to see the mud pres present on this lamp? Mud? What mud? What are you talking about? Hmm. <clears throat> Your Honorer, did you just hear that just now? Uh, ah, yes indeed. What does it mean exactly? It means Miss Killer, poor eyesight, is the reason she cannot see the mud present on this lantern. Mm. Uh. In other words, the validity of Miss Killer's testimony is questionable at best. <laughs> Order. Order in the court. What is the meaning of this? What you say, what say you in your defense, witness? I truly recommend you give us nothing but the truth. I'm sorry, Inquisitor Barnum. It's true. I need to wear glasses. Tell me about All it. the time. <laughs> Tell me about it. <laughs> you need to wear glasses. Uh -huh. Now that you mention it, I did notice something odd about you today. Oh, I thought you looked familiar. 
garnish the mist that clouded my mind in its place. Clarity. Fair maiden, a pair of spectacles are valuable as a shield to a knight. Make haste and procure another pair. Now then, Miss Kira, tell me, at the time of the incident, were you wearing your glasses? No, no, I was not wearing them. The truth is, I, I lost my glasses a couple of days ago. You lost them? So, your glasses were missing during the time of the incident. Mr. Wright, I recommend that you keep note of that fact. It could prove useful later. Got it. Kira has poor eyesight and wears glasses. She lost them a few days before the incident. Hmm. Am I to believe there's nothing left to prove on this matter? At the time of the murder, the accused did not have a witch's scepter in her possession. Rebel. Hold it! Just wait just a moment! Where? Snowy and I have much more left to say! That's right! My trusty sword of justice shall cut through the witch's treacherous lies! Uh, 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 fuck this fuck. I, I may have lost my glasses, but... I haven't lost my will to testify! Arf! Mm, 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 delicious! Rika, I remember now. Old age sure has a way of sneaking up on me. I'm sure you must understand. Yeah, I understand. I understand you're all completely ridiculous. It would seem we have not yet arrived at a clear-cut verdict. Witnesses, you may once again begin to testify to Third the court. Third test testimony. Oh my God. Tell us about the scepter and how it was used in this detestable display of witchcraft that you all witnessed tonight. Okay, what do you gotta say, bitch boy? <gasps> the girl was not holding the scepter in the same hand as the lantern, which means it must have been her other hand. Uh. This must have been. There was milk. The accused is holding a milk bucket in the court illustration. Who's to say she wasn't holding a scepter in that hand? That milk bucket is lighter than it looks. Even Snowy could carry it. So she could have easily had the scepter as well. Bubba! I did not see the milk bucket. Everything felt like an illusion. Illusions, Michael. Mm. God damn it. The scepter was in our other hand, you say? Indeed, such a proposal is feasible. Sir Baker. Yes, Your Honor. It is the strangest thing. The longer this trial goes on, the more you begin to resemble a legitimate defender. Huh? Uh. Well, no matter. Defender, you may begin your interrogation. Okay. Shit. Can we look at the bucket? Uh, 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 bucket. Let me click it. Let me click. I just want to click. Bucket. There we go. Oh, no bucket. No buckets. Fuck. Yo, look at that scepter, dude. Okay. Mm -hmm. Details. Mm -hmm. There it is. Mm. Alright, this helps me none. Thank uh, you. Yep, you're welcome. Pretty good. Yeah. Look uh, at this. What's that? Grand Grimoire. Okay. Uh, vanishing spell causes anything the caster touches. Oh to shit! Would she make the bucket also disappear if that was the. Maybe that's why it's gone. I mean. Now, does it have to be with, I don't understand how this works. This is vague. Anything that the caster touches that it, does that Im imply anything that she touches with her hands or in general? If it's with her body, hands, she's immediately hands. nude. Oh, I like this spell. That's a good spell. <laughs> is there a hand that's casting the, I, I assume it'll be with the hand that's casting the spell. But I mean, wouldn't lanterns. also the bad guys go away? 
The muggers? I mean, maybe, yeah. Hmm. Okay, what did what did the blind lady see? Holding a milk bucket in the court illustration. Well, who's to say she wasn't also holding a scepter in that hand? I feel Let's like that's silly. We can't. That's the dumbest part. Oh. There's no way to actually see it. I hate. She's adorable, but I hate her. <laughs> Looks better with the glasses. Oh yeah, much better. Hmm. Alright, defendant accused of witchcraft killing two men with fire spell. Two victims killed with magic when threatening the defendant. Abracadabra. Boom shaka day. I'm Violent J and I'm back like a vertebrae. A witness, passionate about becoming a knight, currently unemployed. A witness, owner of a farm near the market, seems to have a fixation with goat's milk. A witness, flower girl, who usually wears glasses but lost them somewhere. A witness, mysterious old guy. Totally detached from reality. Yeah, that's reasonable. Same. <laughs> All right, what else do we got here? Milk bucket is lighter than it looks. Even Snowy could carry it, so she could have easily held the scepter as well. But why? Bucket's lighter than, but it had milk in it. Yeah. I'm gonna press she knows her. her milk, dude. She does. I'm gonna press her on it. Hold it. Hold it, ma'am. Just one second, Miss Mary. Uh, what is it now? Snowy and I have, don't have all night, you know. Come on, then, out with it. I just have one question regarding your testimony. How exactly did you know that the bucket Miss Cantabella was carrying was light enough for Snowy to carry? Oh my God, carry? Mary had a little lamb. I'm stupid. Yeah. <laughs> huh? I, uh, well, free me from this hell. You see. The girl always uses the same bucket whenever she comes to buy milk from us. Naturally, I would have seen that bucket countless times before. You've seen it countless times before? That doesn't answer my question. You specifically said that the bucket is lighter than it looks. Miss Mary, at some point tonight, you must have held that bucket yourself. <laughs> Now then, please enlighten us to exactly when you got your hands on the bucket. Bear. It's true. By that time, rubs and mugs had already burnt to ash. And then, I noticed the milk in that bucket that the girl had been holding in her hand. The, the milk? Then, when those two went up in a blaze, Snowy and I made a dash for the bucket. As the girl stood there looking confused, we took the milk from her to make sure it was okay. Uh huh? A unbelievable witness, you. Well, it was just so wasteful, the thought of all that disgusting ash falling into such precious milk. I felt I just had to protect the milk, so I took the bucket back to the farm with me. Madam, do you mean to tell the court that you took evidence from a crime scene back home with you? Knight, slay that woman. <laughs> that explains why we were unable to locate the milk bucket at the scene. You are scaring poor Snowy! Here, I brought the bucket back with me anyway, see? I didn't even tap it with the milk! Oh boy, you can't hold anything with she that bucket. didn't. Yeah. There's no way they could. The court shall accept this milk bucket as evidence. Yeah, that's way too- the handle's way too low. There's no fucking way. Yep. Milk bucket a spell was carrying at the time of the crime. Mary brought it back to her farm. Looks like that's one more piece of evidence for us. Now, will the gentleman with the impressive beard proceed with his testimony? Is 
I did not see this man. Oh, wait. Yeah, so we, we need to go that. back to where she was holding the fucking wand. He's, wait, uh, go back. What does it say she wasn't holding a scepter in that hand? Now this one? Could mm. easily uh, held the scepter as well. Yeah, you're right. Objection, Bucket! Objection! Your own evidence, dummy! All of your testimonies have come to the same conclusion. The scepter was not in her right hand with the lantern, therefore it must have been in her other hand. That was holding the bucket. Is that you, Brock Sampson? Yep. Yeah. However, that's not it. Not by a long shot. What do you mean? Contrary to what one of the witnesses stated, the milk bucket was in fact at the crime scene. And you'll also notice something about this bucket. Take another look at the court illustration. Something about the bucket seems a bit odd, wouldn't you say? Objection! Objection! This illustration was based on eyewitness accounts, so small discrepancies or two are perceived, I guess. Objection! Objection. Actually, Inquisitor Barnum, it's highly likely that this illustration is much less accurate than you think. In fact, there is a blatant contradiction present in this illustration. That's not the same bucket. Admittedly, it does at first look possible that Miss Cantabella was holding the scepter and the bucket at the same time. However, if you look at the real milk bucket, that possibility goes up in smoke. Here, let's have a look at the real deal. Notice the handle? Mm, that cannot be. Oh, but it is. This particular milk bucket has two pieces of wood on either side of the hand. If you were to try and hold both the scepter and the bucket, well, let's just say that'd be a challenge. To put it simply, there is no way anyone could hold both the bucket and the scepter at once! Whoa. It looks like the witnesses are as surprised about this as Barnum. The defendant couldn't have been able to hold the bucket and the scepter at once. Also, we have already established that she was not holding a scepter in her right hand. Therefore, the defendant, Miss Aspella Cantabella, was not holding a witch's scepter at any point during the incident! That is from Rabble. Order. Okay. For I just want. What is the meaning of this? Who's this child in the courtroom? God damn it, I love this game. Take my last bits. Oh, thanks. Mine now. Thanks, boy. These are ours. <laughs> Appreciate it. In all my days as a judge of this court, I've never heard such an argument. These are but a paltry set of words, and yet they ring with such remarkable strength. Your honor, what you just heard was logic. Uh, logic, uh, my only weakness. What is these two? They, they just silenced Inquisitor Barnum. They got They're quantum brains. Birds. Such foolishness. This 200 IQ. This must be some type of witchcraft. Wait, do you think? I'm trying to 